Donald Trump has posted and said and done some crazy things on social media. But uh, we might have one of the weirdest things he's ever posted. And it's crazy. It's crazy. And I don't take pleasure in this. How much MAGA is imploding right now. It is a total collapse. Trump's losing it. He sees Harris racing past him. And if any of you hear my excitement about this and get complacent, I'm going to be mad, okay? But it is very exciting seeing uh, the moment that we're in. And media, I reported on this, and I'll show you the post, and then I'll show you just this crazy saga of online explosions from MAGA folks. Trump posts absolutely bonkers media reports, conspiracy about Kamala Harris crowd size, easily disproven by video evidence. So the size of Trump's crowds have been something that he's fixated on for some time. He sees that as such an important aesthetic metric. Now that Harris rallies are just looking bigger lately. There's an excitement that Trump dreams of. He's freaking out. So far is this freak out going that now MAGA is saying, oh no, MAGA, I'm sorry, this is tough. But they're now saying that a beautiful photo of a crowd cheering Harris is AI. Uh, awkward little note, though. We have the raw video from a bunch of different angles. I don't know how all of that could be AI, including people I know personally who were there who have video of it. So uh, sort of crazy. But he posted this. Has anyone noticed that Kamala cheated at the airport? Cheated at the airport. There was nobody at the plane, and she <laughs> AI'd it and showed a massive crowd of so-called followers, but they didn't exist. She was turned in by a maintenance worker at the airport when he noticed the fake crowd picture, but there was nobody there. Later confirmed by the reflection of the mirror-like finish on the vice presidential plane. She's a cheater. She had nobody waiting, and the crowd looked like 10,000 people. Same thing is happening with her fake crowds at her speeches. This is the way the Democrats win elections, by cheating. And they're even worse at the ballot box. She should be disqualified because the creation of a fake image is election interference. Anyone who does that will cheat at anything. A couple of things, and then I'll show you the image he's referring to. And then I'll show you how it is disproven and other stuff he's posted. But first of all, if you're going to post that, why don't you just quickly see if you can find the raw original source footage of this event? Probably, so you don't embarrass yourself. But what is he trying to do? He's trying to say any excitement you see now, it, it's all AI. It's all AI, baby. And I saw someone make a really good point, which is, yes, you're right. You're right. Believe it, MAGA. We definitely aren't building a fantastically strong and energized movement. So don't worry that much about, uh, you know, mo mobilizing yourself and going out to vote. And I guess that's the point. If y'all want to believe this is all fake and no one actually supports Harris, okay, that's probably just going to shoot you in the foot, but you're free to do it. And then he's talking about fake photos, not using fake photos and how that's election interference. First of all, not a fake photo. Second of all, I've seen Trump now pictured as a soldier when he dodged the draft as Superman on $99 NFT cards, um, holding the hand of Jesus because he's such a godly man, etc. Just We've seen him in all these different weird praying, which he's never done in his entire life. We knew that one was AI and like the 16 fingers gave it away as well. Uh, but here's the photo. And I guess they're saying something's wrong with the reflection. I can't. I, the good thing is we don't have to care because I'll go show you the video. But look at this. He sees that this is so beautiful. And he says it can't be. He also 
posted this. Look, we caught her with a fake crowd. There was nobody there. That's the assertion. There was nobody there. Oh, it's so good. Everything about Kamala is fake, he posts. He's losing it, melting down, collapsing. And uh, here's just one of the angles. Nobody was there. Gosh, that song is awesome. Do you see the nobody? I'll describe for our podcast listeners. Picture nobody. And then after that, picture a bunch of people and just focus on that second one. That's what we're, wa- <laughs> we're watching right now. All right. So that, I guess, is fake. And then, uh, is this a different angle? That's the same video. Uh, and then, I guess, all of these people from her other events. The, there's, no, there's no one actually going to a Harris rally, right? <laughs> you know what I noticed? And you don't have to put this up. Uh, because there's some vulgar language, but an interesting point was made by the person who posted that video saying, there's no F Donald Trump signs at these rallies. There's no attacking the other side. There's no selling Bibles, no Confederate flags. All welcome. And if you look around, you don't see gross shirts. You know, we talked to that guy, and I don't even want to say it, but it's just a misogynistic attack against Harris. Joe and the gotta go. And, it, and it's, I would ask, is this really what you want to represent as your movement? And then you have F Joe Biden, the whole go Brandon thing was a code for, for F Biden. You don't see that here. Of course, they're going to talk about opposing Trump, sure. But the, the presence is so much more positive. Here's another example. We are getting so close to one of the most important elections in history. If you appreciate the work that's being done in this important political moment from this show and you want to support it in an easy, free way, you can do so by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Back to the video. So I guess those are also all AI people. (laughs) Uh, Rolling Stone reports about what this is really about. Unhappy Trump is freaking out. Is freaking out over Harris's crowd sizes. And I'm not logged in. That's just a crying shame. But I'll read up until the point where I am. For years, Donald Trump has been obsessed with the size of campaign rally crowds, viewing it as a prime indicator of his political dominance. It goes on to break down the context. And then what we're getting is behind the scenes, Trump is losing it about these crowd sizes. And so he finally got something, MAGA people online saying, that's a fake photo, which honestly... Let's go back to it. Obviously real, as you know, I just showed you. But if... No, this is just straight from the video we saw. You, you just can't make that case. And then they're zooming and circling. And I do want to see... Here's, here's this. That's the exact same angle as... Yeah, the photo. But... You can imagine snapping that from that little shot. But instead of accepting that and then working hard to oppose it on their part, they have to create a theory about this all being fake. It's sad stuff, and it's not working, as you can see here. Harris now having a 2.3 percentage point lead on Trump in the 538 average of polls. And, you know, I came across something. And I was having an okay morning. You know, nothing special, but all right. And then all of a sudden, I was so happy because I came across this, finally, a poll that is reflecting a little bit more closely to the reality of Democrats versus Republicans and their handling of the economy. The uh, Financial Times here, I think that's what this is. Yeah, Financial Times reports Kamala Harris is more trusted than Donald Trump on the U.S. economy for so long. A majority of Americans believe 
the Republican candidate always handles the economy better. Even though over the last, how long? Share it with me now, century, as we've talked about so many times. The economy has performed far better by all the metrics under Democrats compared to Republicans. Noticeably, quantifiably better over the last century. But still, the Republican branding of we're the good ones on the economy works. But maybe not for too much longer. More Americans trust Kamala Harris to handle the U.S. economy than Donald Trump, according to a new poll that marks a sharp change in voter sentiment following President Joe Biden's withdrawal from the White House race. The survey conducted for the Financial Times and the University of Michigan Ross School of Business is the first monthly poll to show the Democratic presidential candidate leading Trump on the economy since it began tracking voter sentiment on the issue nearly a year ago. Uh, and then it goes through the specifics. Let's see if we can get, yes, this visualized. Look at that. To describe for podcast listeners, Biden was being substantially led on this issue by Trump. And then since Harris jumped in, just a sharp spike. And now she's leading Trump on the issue. It's tight, but she's leading. And what do they say? It's the economy stupid. So this should help her come November. And it makes more sense. Trump mishandled a crisis leading to exacerbated economic issues. Biden-Harris oversaw a stunning economic recovery. And this is a trend that goes a very long way back, as I, as I mentioned. Let me know what you thought of all that in the comments. If you want to get extra content daily and support the work we do, you can do so by clicking the Join button below. And if you want to contribute to the AI campaign, okay, it's all fake. No one out there. You're probably all AI watching this show. You don't even exist. But if you do, you can donate to Harris's campaign by clicking the link in the description of this video.